In this project we are going to use Magic Cut to merge two photos. So let's start with photo of the cat. I took it from the gallery tool. So you can search for cat in gallery tool. You can just type the keyword there to filter photos. And here it is. I will duplicate this layer. And now selection Magic Cat. Okay, this is magic tool, means the computer, the software will try to help us a lot. We just need to mark the main object with this green color and the background with red color. We don't need to be precise here, just mark the main object with the green and the background with the red. Program will try to analyze the picture and cut out the main object from the background. As you can see on the right side, we got quite good result here. It's really hard to cut out fur hairs, so this magic cut is a great solution for it. Click OK, and now on my new layer I got my cut cut out already. Nicely done, it saved me a lot of time. I can see some little things that I want to correct with normal eraser tool, but before that I will put this green screen on the back, or maybe blue screen, drag it down. I just need some color behind, so I can see how my cut is cut out. Okay, so I make shape, rectangle with green color inside and put it down as the lowest layer so it's kind of green background now I can see some problems over here and here so just normal eraser tool let's make this brush really soft so lower the hardness make the brush bigger and just like this a little bit Okay, and over here. So here's my black cat. Now I'm going to export this cut out picture as PNG because the PNG format can remember the transparency of the background. So we don't need to cut it again. So I already export and save on my hard drive, which is cut as PNG. I can close this now and let's give it a try once more with this photo. Let's test out this magic cut once more. So selection, magic cut. As you can see here straight away, the result is not that great. Half of the bucket disappear. So we will use green color to mark our main object here and see that it will help or not. So green color to mark your main object that you want to keep and red color to mark the background that you want to cut out. As you can clearly see on the right side, it's not perfect here. It's not like with our cut before. We got problems with this bucket. So the program keep erasing the bucket because it's, it's not that clear contrast. Like with the cat, we got this green background and black cat. It was much easier for the software to recognize our main object. Here, seems like for flowers, it's, it's not, not, not a problem for the flowers at the top, but with the bucket, we got this problem down there so you probably need to export that and still work on this a little bit more so the magic cut is not a magic bullet so you cannot depend only on this one tool you need to learn how to use other tools that we used before like quick selection lossa tool or normal eraser to fix your cut out your selection later on this is not a perfect tool, it can be really helpful when you're cutting out something on the solid color background or blur background or with strong contrast like cat on the green background before. But in this case, 
you will st still need to work on it for a while after you finish cutting out. So I just want to show you that, that this is not solution for all of our problems. This is just one tool that we can use, but we still need to know other tools. Okay, let's back to our cat project. So I just drag and drop this PNG cat that we export before. As you can see, it's without background. This is the biggest benefit of PNG format. It will save your transparency. So you don't need to cut it again. So this is my PNG cat. And as you can see, I use paper bag photo as a background. I'm going to use crop tool to make some space at the top. In this case, we're using crop tool to make the photo larger, not smaller. Let's select this free space with selection tool. And now I'm going to pick the color of the background and fill the free space with bucket tool. Like this. Okay. We can still see this line between new and old background. So I'm going to select this line with selection tool and use filter blur. Let's blur this line. So we got seamless background there. So okay, and as you can see, we got nice seamless background. You cannot even notice that I add more background at the top. Now we're going to try to put this black cat inside this paper bag. So transform, drag the corners to make this cat smaller. Hold shift to keep the proportion of the photo. Okay, so more like maybe here. Hit enter to confirm your transformation. And now I'm going to move this background layer temporarily to the top. And then we're going to use magic cut once more. So again, selection, magic cut. And like previously, we need to mark everything we want to cut out with red and stuff that we want to keep with green. If you want to erase red or green, use the gray color. So I just mark this white background, clicking on corners with a very big brush. That's nice. And only one more area that I need to put this little red color in the middle. But wait a moment, I used the wrong one, so Command Z. Here I will put more green, okay. All good. We got this black handle thing that we need to take care of. Some green color on it. You don't need to like select this precisely, brush on it precisely. Just spots to let know to software that you want to keep this element. And here in the middle, red. That's it. Really nice result, I think. Click OK. And we got this cutout back on a new layer now. So we can see through it, we can see the cut behind it. But I still keep the previous version. Also on my layer panel, you can see the background here. Let's turn on visibility and drag it back below. So we got this white background there and the back at the top now. So the cut is like behind the back. But we won't cut inside the back. So we need to put him in between these black handles here. So I will cut out the one that should be behind the cut. I will use magnetic tool lasso to cut it out. So I just selection with magnetic lasso tool and then I click delete on my keyboard. Take a look one more time. I'm using this magnetic tool. It's really good for straight shapes like this. Click, 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 selection and delete on my keyboard and it's gone. So now the cut is like in between two handles, like inside the back. Okay, let's reposition this cut. Maybe it's too big now, a little bit. So let's back to cut layer. Again, move tool. Now we can move it behind this because we cut it out with magic cut. Let's scale it a little bit drag the corner or rotate the corner 